for absolutely everyone. We're bringing 23 ABC's Leah Pizzetti now. I guess good news would be if you're looking for rain, especially for our farmers and everything, we want that rain. Potentially more on the way, Leah? Oh, a lot more, more. than <laughs> potentially. <laughs> yeah, Brandon, we certainly have rain on the way. So enjoy tomorrow because that's quite literally our calm before the storm. Tomorrow, where air quality still in the good range, tiny bit worse, but an AQI of 49 just into that good range or almost into that moderate range. Our temperature is warming up mid 70s for our valley or lower 70s. Excuse me. So Bakersfield looking at hitting 73 degrees for tomorrow. 50s for our southern mountains getting up to 58 degrees in Tehachapi, breaking through those 60s in our Kern River Valley and then 60s ex expected as well for our desert communities. So tomorrow's pretty quiet, but then we watch this system approach from our southwest, and this is going to be bringing us nice subtropical moisture. So we see through Tuesday evening into Wednesday, this system just pours into California, bringing us that much needed moisture. We can see by Wednesday evening just drenching California. If we take a closer look in Kern County, once again, Tuesday morning starting to pick up into Tuesday evening. Wednesday morning, look at those orange spots. That's that heavy rainfall and that orange and yellow will continue through the next couple of days. Look at this rain, beautiful rain by Wednesday evening, and this continues through Thursday. So our heaviest rain we're talking about picking up Tuesday night into Wednesday night and then through Thursday, our valley could see anywhere from about one to three inches. I wouldn't be surprised if some areas of our valley saw maybe more than that. Our mountain community is getting up to six inches of rain, so this does mean we have the potential for flooding. So urban and street flooding as usual if you see any flooding in the street, do not try to drive through it. You want to stay safe. So tomorrow, enjoy this warm 73 degrees just above average because then the next couple days will be dropping just below average as this system rolls in, bringing us this rain through Thursday evening with some scattered showers continuing into Friday. Warm temperatures though, so it's going to be a warm week of rain. For our Kern River Valley, we'll see 65 degrees for tomorrow, our start of spring on Tuesday, bringing those rain chances beginning. Once again, continuing as we stay in those 50s through the week in the Kern River Valley. Tehachapi is starting our week at 58, so 58 degrees for tomorrow. And then we are going to see pretty warm overnight lows. So you can see the beginning of this system, our overnight lows staying nice and warm. It's not until Thursday night that our lows start to drop below freezing, so we shouldn't see any snow at the beginning. It's at the end, but by the time our temperatures do cool down enough, it's at the end of our system, so not a lot of moisture left over. So we could potentially see a dusting of snow for Tehachapi and Fraser Park by the end of this system. Uh, so once again, staying in those 50s and then cooling down into those 40s for those mountain communities. And Brandon and Stephen, I, I want to put this into perspective for you. We're in the valley. We're potentially seeing up to three inches of rain this month with three different systems. We've seen one inch of rain, so we could potentially crazy. triple that with this one system. That is crazy yeah. weather. All the rain we missed out on this whole winter. We're getting it at one time. Yep. Seems like <laughs> crazy. crazy weather and a.